Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make noise free campaign we go about looking at how we can fix screen flickering while playing games on Samsung phones. Now many game users have reported that screen continuously flickers or there is frame drop when they are playing games. So like this is a pretty common problem like screen flickering and frame drops and therefore let's look at how this can be fixed very easily. Now first things first I need to enable developer options for this I need to head to about phone. Uh, tap on software information, tap on build number several times, prompted for screen pattern and there you go, the developer mode has been installed. Now like I scroll down on my settings screen and I can see there is developer option right at the bottom. Now there are a few things that I need to do here and while I do them, I also need to ensure that you understand what I am doing. First thing is I need to head towards like uh, networking and enable like hardware tethering. So scroll down, scroll down until you see networking under this like tethering of hardware acceleration. So go ahead and do this. What this means is that if there is a better alternative available in terms of hardware, that thing will be used. Now it's pretty obvious that while you are playing games, you want that the GPU be used rather than the CPU because the graphical processing units are more capable, are more competent to handle the needs of a high powered graphical interface so that's why like you need to enable this hardwareing hardware acceleration then go down to hardware accelerated rendering and here for you to use like the gpu we need to disable hw overlays so it writes here always use gpu for screen compositing so go ahead and do this don't worry i mean this will ensure that whenever like you are playing games like gpu or the graphical processing unit is being used. You can also turn on force force 4x multi sample anti aliasing. What this means is like you know uh, the curves are more rounded like even like one time it's like if it's a there's a curve it the edges may be a little rough. When you are doing it four times anti aliasing so you are basically making those curves like more rounded well it's not really required but this can really help i will also advise that if you are playing games what you need to do is head towards drawing and ensure that the windows animation scale which may be 2x you may turn it to like 1.51 or 0.5x this will become very very fast what this means is any of the uh, icons and other things that you see on the screen like the time it takes to animate or other things uh, so you are basically reducing the time taking for it to load by half uh, like so you can do this 0.5 will be very fast I advise to keep it at one check for yourself what you feel comfortable with but like more importantly for the screen to not flicker well this is what you need to do always use GPU so go ahead and do that and you will see a ton of difference while you are playing games but yes using a GPU without enabling hardware tethering that doesn't make sense because the device may not consider the GPU at all so when you tether or rather allow for hardware acceleration it means that well if you get an option my friend go ahead and use that option so if you get a gpu instead of cpu for games go ahead and use the gpu so do this first and then do the gpu so guys do let me know if this helps and whether like the screen flickering while playing games on your samsung or any other devices for that matter stops guys if you find the tutorial helpful kindly consider subscribing please do let us know in the comment section how you find this tutorial and also please do share this with your friends on social media uh, if you have a phone and if you're struggling with something do let us know we would want to invest in the smartphone that you have and create solutions that can help you and the wider community at large so that's all it's me amlan signing off